In this demo, I'll be showing to you ServiceNow records and form. And what you're seeing now in the middle, the main content frame, is a list of records, right? So now we're going to drill down to a particular record or a form. So depending on the type of module that you're uh, moving into, right? So this is um, an incident form, which represent a record, a single record, right? With a single incident ID referencing to this some um, different fields. Now, to be able to configure the fields here, you need to go to the context menu in the top left, go to configure, and it will need to go to a form layout. So let's do it slowly, right? Go to form layout, and on the form layout, it will allow you to basically configure the view, um, add additional fields, and so on. So on the left, these are existing fields. So for example, you drag it to the right and you could basically uh, move it upwards, right? Depending on where you want it to be located, right? So I just put it on the top most for easy finding, but it depends really on where you find it more suitable. So you could um, remove by doing the same action, right? After, and you remove it, you go to, goes to the left and the ones on the right are the ones which is available. Once you save it and go back, it will basically be housed under the default view, under the incident section. So you see you have different sections, right? As you have different sections, right? This is rep the representation of your record or your form on the main view. So if ever the, the field, right, is not yet available from the existing um, modules and service on the left, then you can create a new field. Depending on the type, it could be a string, Right, it could be um, not the format. It could be a percentage, could be a date, and so on. Now, as you go back, right, and and go to the uh, main view, so you you see the notes section. So you have the notes section and the related um, records. So as you go up, right, you go to the context menu again. You could basically go to configure, right, and um, be able to configure the related list, right? Configure. Let's go back hamburger figure slowly there you go and related list right so upon adding the related list right on the right under the default view of course right then then after you add it drag it to the right using this arrow highlight it and drag it right once you go to the left automatically it will also add additional tabs on the table from so from there you you're basically already configuring and becoming a master on this form Right. And additional tips is right. As you can see here, we talk about views, right? So these are the different views, which is also found on the configure layout that you also saw earlier. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I managed to help you about the records and, and, and forms in ServiceNow.